Hi there, it's Richard here at the Smart Thermostat Shop. uk. We are going to produce a series of Evo Home help videos over the next couple of weeks. They're not going to be anything special, but they will definitely show you how to do the bits and pieces you require to do on the Evo Home system, depending on what situation you've got. And what we'll try and do is as many scenarios as we can to uh, show you how to pair the Evo Home system up that we can think of, but if obviously if there's anything we're missing or there's any scenarios we've not covered, just ask us and we will happily do those videos for you. So when you buy a connected thermostat pack, you will get an Evo Home controller, you'll get the desk stand and you'll get a BDR91T. So the latest Evo Home controllers come with the T-Series relay, which has got the house symbol on it. The reason the T-Series relays were launched is because they are now compatible with heat pumps. So the older relays, so the BDR91As, which don't have the house symbol, or the older BDR91Ts, just to confuse matters even more, they don't have the house symbol. So if you have those products, they will not work with heat pumps, where these relays here will work with a heat pump. So when you power the Eva Home controller up, so it's really important as well that you make sure underneath this flap, there's a tab in the middle there. You take the tab out, okay? So the amount of people that um, don't realize that there's actually batteries in here with a tab. If you take the tab out, that's really important. And then the actual Eva Home controller will be self-powered, okay? You won't need it attached to the dock. But what I recommend you do is when you're pairing the Eva Home controller to any other device in the Eva Home system, you make sure it is powered on the dock, okay? So when you uh, first power the Eva Home controller up, it will ask you a few questions, language and things like that. And when you get to this menu, which will basically allow you to go through the guided configuration or the installation menu, my personal preference is to go through the installation menu. Okay, so if you press installation menu, I'll hold it up like that. And then <clears throat> factory reset, green tick, green tick again, okay? Then go through the guided configuration. So you want to go through zone guided configuration, zone control configuration. In this scenario, I'm gonna set up basically a combi boiler, all right? So combi boiler, and we're gonna um, just use the Eva Home controller for the temperature thermostat in a room, so same. So this would sort of replicate your CM927, like a Honeywell CM927 or something like that, where you've got a programmable thermostat in a reference room controlling a relay box. Okay, so if you click zone control configuration, it will go, do you wanna remove all the previous settings? Yes. Do you want to control your heating and cooling appliance wirelessly? Yes, we do, because we want this to control the relay box here and switch the boiler on and off. So you're gonna click tick. And then it says, select your option. Well, we've got a wireless relay box, but if you had an open therm boiler and you bought the modulation pack, so the Evo Home modulation pack instead of the connected thermostat pack, because you've got an open therm boiler, then the open therm bridge pairs in very much the same way as I'm going to show you with the wireless relay box. But obviously you would click the open therm bridge option and then you would pair your open therm bridge in. Because we have a wireless relay box, so we've got a BDR91T relay box here, which is gonna on off switch the combi boiler, we're gonna select wireless relay box. So really important when you're pairing, for the, for the video demonstration, they're gonna be close together. But in the real wor world scenario, if I was out on site fitting this, I would not be pairing the devices this close. We were, I would be pairing them at least two meters apart from each other. And in some parts of this video, I might just move the Eva Home controller out of the equation while I press the tick buttons or the green bits on this, um, just so they pair correctly and you get to see what it looks like when it's paired correctly. Because if I try and pair them like this too close, it will error. They're really powerful RF devices and they're two-way communication. So what happens is this will send the RF comms out to here and then this will then send RF comms back to here. But in that process, they'll screen each other if they're too close. So really important that you do not have these RF devices too close to each other when you're doing the pairing. Okay, so it says put the boiler relay into buy mode and then press the buy button below. Okay, so to do that, you're on the relay box, it should be flashing like this when you get it out the box and you power it up for the first time. If it is, all we need to do is press and hold the button and good practice is press and hold the button, hold it for more than 15 seconds. You'll get a slow flash about the five second mark, but you need to keep and 
pressing and holding this button past the 15 second mark, okay? Like so, and then let go once you've got the fast flash. Then press and hold the button again and hold it until you get the slow flash. And once you get the slow flash, which is about five seconds, let go. Okay, so this is the slow flash. It's half second on, half second off like that. Okay, once you've got that, you simply press the button in the middle here. I'm just gonna move this as far as I can away over here. I'll see if it will work here, but I'll press the button here, like so. And there you go, it didn't work. So that just goes to show, if you've got them too close like this, they will not work. And that was my fear when I just did that then. So what happened is it sent the message this way, but it didn't receive the message back, just because these are too close. So what we need to do is, it says, if it didn't work, step back. Okay, so I'm just going back. But what you've got to do now is clear the relay again, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. If this was in the real life situation where we had these well apart, you wouldn't get this, okay? So I'm just gonna do that again. So I'm gonna press and hold the button for 15 seconds until we get the fast flash. Then I'm gonna let go. Then I'm gonna press and hold the button until I get the slow flash, which is about five seconds, okay? There we go. This time, I'm gonna move it over here. It will be off the screen while I do it, but I'm gonna press that button there, okay? So all the way over here, I'm pressing the button now. And this time, we've got the correct message come up. So you will get a success message, okay? If this pairs to this correctly, you will get a success message on the Eva Home Controller. If it doesn't pair correctly, you will not get this, okay? So we're gonna cl click the tick. Then it's gonna ask you, what type of zone are you trying to create? So in this scenario, we are creating a one zone thermostat. Same, to re so we're replacing, the scenario is combi boiler with a CMS 927, we're gonna replace that. And then in the future, we're gonna to upgrade to HR91s or HR92s, okay? So one zone thermostat, I'm gonna click that, and it says, give your zone name. So we're gonna we're gonna call this, I'm gonna delete all that, and we're gonna call it heating, oh. So heating, next. And then it says, use the Evo Home, uh, so basically the Evo Home Evo Touch Controller, which is this, as the temperature sensor. What it's given you the option to do is if you just wanted to put this somewhere in the property and you didn't want to use it as the temperature sensor, you could actually use a T87RF, so one of these, as the temperature sensor instead of the main controller, or a DTS92E. You could use one of these instead. Okay, but for today, we're just gonna use the Evo Touch. So we're gonna say yes, and then that's gonna use the sense inside here. It's really important we understand what this use Evo Touch as a temperature sense for heating means, because when you're pairing HR92, sometimes people click yes here, expecting then the temperature sensor on the HR92s to work. When it doesn't, you've actually using the temperature sensor in here. And we get a lot of people call up and say, this zone temperature is well too hot and it's not replicating the room it's in. And what they've accidentally done is paired this as a temperature sensor in a HR92 zone. But for the purpose of the video, we're gonna say yes here, okay? And then you're done, okay? So this is just a combi boiler, one zone with the Evo Touch as a temperature sensor. And then if we put this up, so we put that up to like 21, 22 degrees, like so, okay? You can see the green light comes on in the relay box. Once the temperature gets up, so this is the main temperature, that's the set point temperature. When the set when the main temperature gets to the set point temperature, it will start turning on the relay box on and off. Okay, so cancel the override. Actually, I'm gonna go less than that. Let's go down to 12. Like so, relay box turns off. All right, that's it for this video. I'm gonna do another video now and uh, I'll show you how to pair the H92s in. Uh, I'll put a link to that video in the video description below and I'll also put a link in where you can buy the equipment from our shop. And if you need any help, advice or anything like that, if you buy the items from our shop, which all our Eva Home products come with a five year warranty, if you buy anything off us, we will help and support you as much as we can, if we can't help and support you, we know all the correct contacts um, to give you to get the help and support you need for setting these things up. 
Okay, I've been Richard. This has been the first video in the Eva Home series we're going to run. If you've got anything, any questions or comments, please put them in the video below. Thanks for watching.